Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send WhatsApp messages for new form submission. So imagine this, you are using Google Forms to collect leads and a lead called as John has been generated in Google Forms. So it has John's name, email address, WhatsApp number, all those details. Now you want to send a thank you message to John on this WhatsApp number. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you can copy all the details of John from Google Forms, sort it out, compose a message and send it manually on WhatsApp. The problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So I suggest that you bring in some automation so that when a new response is created in Google Forms, it will automatically send a message on WhatsApp. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Google Forms and WhatsApp. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we will begin with a small example. So what I'm going to do here is uh, this is my Google form. Okay, and it has been titled product review form. And this has been opened in incognito mode. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill in the details. So let's say a guy called as Aaron Manuel has filled in the details. Okay, so this is the name, this is the email and uh, this is the phone number. And uh, he is going to make a product review. So the product review is something like uh, good. Okay, good product. So this is the product review, good product. And what he is going to do, what the guy called as Aaron Manuel is going to do is he's going to just uh, submit the form. Okay, so the form submission has been made. So let's have a look in the WhatsApp messages of this guy called as Aaron Manuel, whether he has received any thank you message or a confirmation message. Okay, so this is the message he has received. Hello, Mr. Aaron Manuel for submitting the product review. Glad you liked our product. So basically, this is what we plan to do. Anytime a submission is made by a respondent in Google form, he will be getting a WhatsApp message. Okay, so to begin the actual integration process, what we're going to do here is we are going, so we are going to open up a new tab in the incognito mode. Okay, so your obvious question is why are we working on incognito mode? Well, this is because uh, the integration of Google Forms and uh, this uh, WhatsApp will involve uh, the creation of Google Sheet. Now, working with Google Sheet and uh, working with our app called as Public Connect, there will be an authorization issue if you have multiple Gmail accounts. You will understand it later. So what we are what we are going to do here is first of all just type pabli.com. Okay, pabli.com. So Pabli Connect is the application that we are going to use to integrate Google Forms and Chat API. So let me just uh, click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Forms to WhatsApp. Google Forms to WhatsApp. I'm sorry, Google Forms to WhatsApp. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Forms. Google Forms. Okay, Google Forms it is. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new response in spreadsheet. Okay, so new response in spreadsheet is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is the trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new response is made in Google Forms, then what action should be taken by the system? Now at present, as you may see, our trigger event is called as new response in spreadsheet. So your obvious question is why it is new response in spreadsheet? It should be something like a new response in Google Forms or a new lead generator in Google Forms, something related to Google Forms, why it is spreadsheet. So the reason is the Google Forms send the response data to Google Sheets. So basically from that particular Google Sheet, we will be using Pabli Connect to send this data to third party apps, let's say WhatsApp. Okay, so basically the idea is that from Google Sheets, we will be using Pabli Connect to send the data to WhatsApp or many other apps that we know. Okay, so what we are going to do here is first of all, I'm just going to take you to my Google Forms. So this is a newly created uh, uh, Google Forms and it has been titled Hospital 
hospitality services review form and these are the fields we have name email phone as well as the feedback okay so these are all the fields we have now uh, to begin the actual integration process just uh, concentrate on the last field okay so here you will find uh, the option called as required toggle this to the right so basically this will ensure that when this particular field that is the last field is filled it will send the data to google sheet when the form is submitted okay so what we are going to do here is we are just going to click on response okay so here you will find an icon so basically we are going to spreadsheet for this particular google form so let me just click on this button okay so as you can see we have two choices create a new spreadsheet select existing spreadsheet so we are going with this one create a new spreadsheet and the default name is hospitality service review form google sheets okay so i am not changing the default name i'm happy with it and let me just click on create okay so it is showing that it is creating a new spreadsheet yes a spreadsheet called as hospitality services review form responses has been created so basically anytime a new response is generated here it will be shown here so basically we have all the fields that is name email phone as well as the feedback of our service now there is an additional column okay that is timestamp so timestamp is basically the time at which the response was generated okay so basically we will be using public connect to uh, get the data from this particular google sheets so let me just take you to add-ons click on add-ons Public Connect Webhooks. Okay, so Public Connect Webhooks is an add-on that is already installed in my system. Now, since you are beginning fresh, Public Connect Webhooks might not have been installed. So first of all, just click on Get Add-ons. Okay, so when you click on Get Add-ons, Google Workspace Marketplace opens up. So what we are going to do here is in the search, we are just going to type Pabli, Pabli Connect Webhooks. This one, click this. Okay, so as you can see, Public Connect Webhook is already installed in my system. So all you have to do is just uh, click on this button and Public Connect Webhooks will be installed in your system also. Now, after installing Public Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat again, after installing Public Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. Okay, so I'm just uh, closing this. Okay, going back to add-ons, clicking on Public Connect Webhooks and just click on Initial Setup. Okay, so in the initial setup, uh, it is uh, showing two blanks, the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. So to basically, we will deal with the trigger column first. So the trigger column is always the last data entry column. I repeat again, the trigger column is always the last data entry column. Now, as you may know, as you may see, the last data entry column is uh, column E. Okay, so this is our last data entry column. After column E, there is no column for data entry so e is our last data entry column as i mentioned before the last data entry column is always the trigger column so i'm mentioning the trigger column as e now coming to the most important part the webhook url so to get the webhook url let's go to public connect and copy this this is the webhook url you want copy this and simply paste it here okay so we have entered the webhook url all we have to do is just click on submit Okay, so we have made that window disappear. Once again, let's uh, go back to add-ons, click on Public Connect Webhooks and this time just click on Send on Event. So basically, it will ensure that anytime column E is filled, it will keep sending in the data. So basically, at this point, we have integrated this particular form, this particular Google Sheet to Public Connect. So as to ensure that Public Connect captures this data, let me go to Public Connect and just click on this button, Capture Webhook Response. Click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going back to my uh, form. Okay, so this time we are just going to click on preview and we are going to make some entry. So these are the details. So the name of the person is Lucent William. This is the email and uh, this is of course the phone number. So we have entered the phone number and uh, the feedback, the feedback I want to give is uh, excellent. Okay, excellent services. Okay, so a guy called as uh, Lucian William has filled in the form and he has uh, given the feedback for our service that is excellent services. This is his phone number and this is his uh, email address. So basically on this particular phone number, he will be getting the WhatsApp message. Thank you message basically. So let me just click on submit and we will see what will happen. Okay, so the submission has been made by Lucent William. So let's have a look in Google Sheets. Okay, so we have the data. So this is the timestamp, the basically the time at which the data was made and data was collected. And this is of course the name, this is the email, this is the phone, and this is uh, basically the feedback of our service. Okay, so let's have a look whether Public Connect has captured this data because Public Connect is integrated with this particular Google Sheets. So let's have a look. Yes, the data has been captured. So the name is Lucent William. This is the email, this is the phone, number and this is the um, feedback okay so basically now we have to send a thank you message to lucent so 
what we are going to do here is we are just uh, going to introduce one more uh, window so this window is called as the action window so in the choose app how about we make it as chat api okay so using chat api we will be sending the whatsapp messages okay so now in the action event how about we make it as send message then click on connect with chat api in the new credentials we have to use the api url as well as the token so to get the api url as well as the token let's have a visit to chat api so this is my chat api account and this is my api url so i'm just going to copy this okay and i'm just going to paste it here okay so we have entered the api url now coming to the token so i'm just going to copy this okay so i have copied this and i'm going to paste it here Okay, so we have entered the API URL, we have also entered the token. So let me just click on save. Okay, so when we click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to construct a message from the data that we have received from Google Forms via PubicLint. Now, uh, let's start mapping in the details. For example, we have contact slash group. So we won't be sending any data to a group. We are sending the data to an individual person. So we are just going to leave this blank. Okay, now coming to the phone number. So let me introduce you to this button. This button is called as the mapping button. When we click this, in this accordion, you will find the data that we have received. So this is the phone number to which we will be sending the message. So we have mapped it. Now coming to the message, it should be something like, uh, hello, and enter a space. And uh, the message is, uh, hello, Mr. Lucent William with email and I'm going to just map in the email okay email hello Mr. Lucent William with email thank you for submitting the feedback okay so this is the message uh, Mr. Uh, hello Mr. Uh, Lucent William with email this is the email thank you I'm sorry it's time Thank you for submitting the feedback. Excellent. So when I click on save and send test request, it will send this message to message on WhatsApp to Lucent's WhatsApp number. Okay, so let me just do that. Let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so it is showing the message has been sent. So, so let's have a look. So basically, this is the message that Lucent William has received. Okay, Mr. Lucent William with email Ford Motors123 at the gmail.com. Thank you for submitting the feedback. Excellent. So the presence of this uh, message shows that we have successfully integrated uh, google forms and whatsapp with help of public connect now before we uh, leave before we end this let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so here i have minimized my action window and i'm going to minimize my trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated google forms to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to chat apis to send the whatsapp message so now there's a perfect flow of data between google forms and chat api excellent not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.